Hello everyone. There is something you want from God and you pray about it so much. You pray and you pray and you pray and you pray. You pray you pray so much that you get to the point where you begin feeling discouraged. You begin feeling so sad. You may begin thinking, what are you doing wrong? Like, why isn't God answering your prayer? You may believe God is so angry with you. You may believe God, like, doesn't care about you. You, a, you even may believe God has abandoned you. Hello? Have you thought about waiting? Yes, you have fasted. <clears throat> yes, you have prayed so much. Okay. You have read the Bible, prayed with your pastor prayed with the deacon, prayed with the minister. You may have even prayed with the bishop. How about learning to wait? Learn to wait on God. You already have done what you can do. Yes, you should still pray fast and do other things still. You have done what you can do. Learn to wait. Uncle Kev, like you may say to me, Uncle Kev, I don't like waiting. I want things to come to me fast. You know, like when you pop popcorn for three minutes that's how i want things to come to me from god and if god doesn't give me what i want as quickly as that i am going to turn my back on him i am going to be angry with him i am going to say to him you don't love me you don't care for me i am doing so much for you but you don't love me god if you are that way that is not wise even if you think God is so mean and God is like a tyrant and God is like this and that, even if you believe that, he is still in control. So if God is in control and if he doesn't want to do something at a particular time, what can you do? wait go by his rules and wait i believe for many of us much of our problems can be fixed if we just wait we think we need to do this and we think we need to do that we think we need to, you know, um, have our hands in so many things to get things to where we want things. Some things you can't do that. Some things, no matter what you do, what you say, it is not going to change anything when it comes down to the earthly. You already have prayed. You already have repented, fasted, and did all of that. Sit yourself down, so to speak, and wait. I think that is the problem that many of us have. We are so impatient. Like, God can be working things out for your good, but 
you can't settle yourself down. You you are so anxious. You began doing things you should not be doing and messing some things up. When you should just close your mouth, sit down somewhere, and be quiet and wait. You have already done what you can do. Sit yourself down and wait. Are you understanding what I am saying? When I say sit yourself down, meaning be patient. Stop being like, uh, I don't know if the word busybody is the right term I should be using. Stop being so, you know, I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to do this. You don't have to be that way. Not to say that I am perfect, but when we read the Bible and it is telling us what we should do in a situation, follow that and believe things will turn out good when we follow God's word. Follow God's word and wait. Continue doing what is right and wait. Yes, it, it, it may take three days. It may take a week. Hello? It may take a year, two years, five years, whatever. But what we need to be focused on is like, hey, yes, it may take time. But what do we really lose by waiting? What are you losing? You may say to me, Uncle Cav, you know, I know what you are saying, but still, God needs to give me what I want, when I want it, right now, right now. You really need to stop being the way you are you will have a very difficult time in God being impatient.